Welcome back to my mobile app marketing two minute Tuesday. In part one, I discussed the first stage of three, the awareness stage. Make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Today is all about the second stage, acquisition. Here, the possibilities are endless, so it's time to get creative. Don't be afraid to test out different methods and refine your strategy as you go. So let's have a look at some of the ways you can acquire new users. Whilst direct downloads may occur primarily from mobile sites, App Store Search is where 65% of new apps are discovered. Once your app is ranking well for a certain keyword, it will remain near the top of search results for months. To optimize your App Store page, you'll need a strong title, relevant keywords, and slick screenshots and videos of the app in action. Once your app is launched, set up a campaign on Google Ads and, depending on your target market, roll out the campaign on your social media channels. Remember that each platform has its own feel, so your approach should be nuanced. If your app is a B2B solution for the finance sector, then focus on LinkedIn rather than Snapchat or TikTok. Don't forget to review your campaigns and tweak them where necessary. Testing out different copy and creative is a great way to assess what's resonating with potential users. Finally, consider pitching your app to app store curators. If you manage to get featured, you'll increase both visibility and downloads, a big deal for new mobile apps in an overcrowded market. Devote some time to this and craft a super compelling pitch. So there we are guys, the acquisition stage of marketing your new mobile app. Hit subscribe and stay tuned for part three, which is coming soon, as well as more awesome content from the rest of the team.